Adrian Bot joins us. We're only a few days away from Christmas. Merry Christmas. All the best, Richie. Merry Christmas to you. What's on the uh, the bot you know, the bot plant? Newly married? Newly married. Honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in the honeymoon period of Christmas. Yeah, no, all things well at the moment. All things well at the moment? <laughs> yeah. No, all, all going good. So a uh, quiet Christmas for us. Uh, family's coming down to Sydney, but I guess sort of not, not much sort of really changes as work work life sort of rolls on, so we'll the races boxing day and oh, it's a it's a busy time, isn't it? It, it is a busy time, but we'll, we'll be able to take some time on Christmas Day to spend with them. Now listen, let's go at why on on Thursday, the two-year-old and three-year-old Magic Man's race progressing to the Gold Coast. Yep. Terminology, the two-year-old, been wow, what a trial. Yeah, taking up two very nice horses in a while. Uh, terminology, gee, she was she was sharp in that trial. I uh, love the improvement that she showed. You know, two things I think with the application of blinkers, uh, but also she's just a big burly filly, so the natural fitness that she took from that improvement first and second trial was um, what we wanted to see, and hopefully she can take that further. Uh, Beatson uh, goes to the three-year-old race. Yeah, uh, look, he looks very well placed here in this race um, at, at, at the set weight. They both look very hard to beat. <laughs> they, they both do, and, and both going up in great order. So uh, Beatson's very forward. He's had the had the three trials. Uh, we'd like to see this uh, a, a nice race as a lead up for the Gold Coast. They both go to the Gold Coast. Uh, what else joins them at the Gold Coast? Because it's before even you join Gay, it's it's her baby, the Gold Coast. Yeah, we, we love that carnival up there, and uh, particularly since the prize money's been ramped up to, to ten million. So it's a oh. uh, it's a good reason to target up there. Uh, Global Glamour, she trialled just during the week. Uh, very nice win. Uh, so she'll head up that way, just deciding whether we give her a start next next Sunday or not. Uh, our Crown Mistress, she'll head that way. A uh, long time ago is up there. Uh, dark eyes potentially for the stage race if, uh, if he goes well in Suffolk. Only one runner at Warwick Farm on Sunday in Sydney, supply and demand back from Melbourne. Yeah, hopefully we can make that count. Uh, look, he went over to Perth. It was a bit disappointing yeah, over there. Perth, he went, I think he's been everywhere. He, he's been everywhere. He's travelled well. Uh, that hasn't affected him. Back in really good order and uh, looks great in condition and really happy with his work on Tuesday morning. Uh, so I, I think he can bounce back. Uh, just the firm tracks uh, sort of tickled him up a bit over there. So uh, look, performed well below expectations, but I think he can bounce back. Well, let's look at Mooney Valley on Saturday. You've got a few runners there now in race four on the card. Uh, multitude runs. Zach Spain's on board. Um, what do you make of the packet and run? Yeah, look, Zach's, Zach's running really well for us. Yep. I don't think it would really suit multitude. I think a bit of time between runs last start. So. Yeah, I think it was seven weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. good good, good time, um, you know, and, and the 2,000 metres. So plenty of improvement naturally, uh, just fitness-wise for him. I think he looks well-placed here. What about this horse? He's, uh, he's capable, this horse, of winning Saturday. He's capable of, of popping home in a couple of handy staying races. So I speak of Imperial Aviator who got the job done in Sydney. Yeah, I think he's a real progressive stayer. Uh, probably one of our better chances down in Melbourne for the weekend, I thought. Uh, I love his win last start. He's a different horse this preparation now being gilded. Uh, obviously had plenty of foundation work, uh, very fit, very forward, uh, stay all day. Uh, he had a nice look around Mooney Valley earlier in the week and if he can get around the tight turning tracker I think it'll be hard to beat. And in race seven on the card, uh, AC Tong D who won at Canterbury first up. Yeah she won really well here first up. Uh, she really strengthened up this like she's always had the plenty of natural speed, uh, plenty of natural ability, but she just lacked that strength to uh, really sustain that in her race. And we're seeing her carry that through this time. Moody Valley should should really suit her, just a, a sharp feeling to get on pace and she'll handle it well. The best of all of those for body and waterhouse? And uh, look, our beats in first up, I think it's got to be one of our better chances. Uh, and then on, on the weekend, hard to go past the like yeah. Now, just racing, we're giving away a million dollars for Gra Gay's Greatest Carnival up at the Gold Coast if you pick all the winners. If I just gave you, if Body won a million dollars, what, what would you do with a million cash? A million cash? Look, a million cash, you can win it. You're eligible. <laughs> I'd like to go buy a yearly across the road. It would be, would be nice for the stable. Uh, but... oh, oh, I'll do what Gay would do. I'll... <laughs> that's what Gay would do. Great answer. Look, if we can put it on uh, our beats, and that's probably the, the guy to follow in class horse. The million? Uh, the million. <laughs> we'll go buy a couple of yearlings. We'll, we'll be set. So no, he's, he's going well. Have a great Christmas. You too. All the Adrian Bott, Gay Waterhouse. Wow, what an end of the year. I reckon they might start the new year with a big bang too.